Hello everyone. Today, we're going to be answering a question that many 2D CAD users have when moving into the world of 3D CAD. How can I use legacy 2D data, such as AutoCAD drawings, to create new 3D Solid Edge models? Solid Edge comes with a tool you can use to regenerate 3D files from their 2D part views. I'll share this process with an old DWG file, as Solid Edge can open DWG files, it being a commonly used 2D format. As you can see here, I've imported a drawing originally made in AutoCAD with two views and dimensions attached. I'm going to use this command, create3d. But before I begin, the original drawing views have been translated as groups, so I'm going to need to ungroup them both so they appear as sketches. Now I'm ready to start creating 3D geometry. I want to make a new part, so I'll use my default solid edge part template to create one. I need to define which views to bring into my part file as well. The scale looks fine, but my projection angle needs changing, as the original drawings were created using first angle. There are some dimensions here as well, so I'll bring those over into my model. My first view is the part's front view. I'll left click and drag my mouse around the whole view and its dimensions. Now I'm happy with the selection, so it's time to hit next. Now I'll select the left view, remember it's first angle but I want the center of the resulting sketch to coincide with the front plane of my model. So let's set a fold line between the top midpoint and the bottom midpoint. I could hit next and select even more views, but these are all I have here, so I'll hit finish instead. Now this is the fun part. I've brought the two views into Solid Edge's synchronous part environment as sketches, with the left view tangential to the front. My dimensions are a light brown, meaning they're detached, but more on that later. I'm going to use these light blue sketch regions to generate my 3D geometry. These three regions here all have equal thickness in the Y direction, so I can extrude them in one step. You can hold down Control to multi-select these regions, but I prefer to press spacebar once to toggle selection mode to add remove mode. Just a personal preference. Clicking the steering wheel arrow starts the extrude. Now I don't know how far to extend this, but because I brought in another drawing view, I can click on a sketch keypoint to define the extent. You'll notice this makes the sketch lines disappear, but they've only been moved to the used sketches container. If you need them later, right click them and choose Restore. Just bear in mind that they don't drive the part file in synchronous. Once again, these three regions have an equal thickness in 3D, so I'll extrude them in one step. Find a convenient sketch key point, and more geometry is added. You'll also see the brown dimensions have turned blue. This means they've attached themselves to the model. That could be used to control its shape. The last region was used up in the last extrude I created, but that's nothing a quick restore sketch won't handle. This area is now blue, so it's a region again. And if it's a region, I can extrude it. Now, this one would be a more difficult extrude, if I hadn't imported the hidden detail lines from the AutoCAD file. I'll select any key point from that line, and there we go, one completed connecting block. I'll finish up by hiding all of my sketches and dimensions. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope this helps you with moving legacy 2D data into 3D.